Well, for this particular production, uh, swashbuckling is my favorite aspect of stage combat. It's, uh, it embodies all the, the three F's of uh, swashbuckling, which is fleet, fluid, and flamboyant, and there's no show that embodies that more than the Three Musketeers. So this has always been a dream project of mine, and the fact that I was able to do it with uh, two of my private students and associates, uh, Troy Beckman, who's my assistant fight director, and Justin Gibbons, who is also an associate uh, with uh, my company, and uh, he's one of the guards as well in the show. So the fact that I got to work with them, and the fact that the alley has given us the time that we need to develop these sequences to their fullest potential, which you don't often get when you're working with theaters. Often they try and shoehorn rehearsal in, and the alley has done it the right way. They've given us the time to get creative and work with the actors and work to the best of their particular capabilities and with the vision of the director, and that's a, been a rare treat. Well, I, I set the bar pretty high. I came in saying, okay, this is how I want it to be. And I was fully prepared with a plan A, plan B, plan C kind of scenario. And Troy and Justin and I had been working for a few months on creating sequences and we would put them on YouTube and send them to Mark and have him give us feedback on how they felt into the story. Because it's not just a moment of, uh, of sword fighting on stage, it's an extension of the story. So if we're not making what we're portraying on stage uh, complementary and furthering the storyline in some way and a reflection of the characters who are involved in the sequence, then we're doing the show a disservice. So uh, we spent a great deal of time beforehand putting these all together and had really high hopes when we came in that we would not have to worry about watering anything down. And that has not been the case. We haven't had to alter anything uh, due to a lack of ability or uh, physicality on the part of the performers. Well, again, swashbuckling is this high adventure uh, thing where a fleet, fluid, flamboyant, we're having a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's just a thrill park ride is what it is. The stakes uh, for the characters are really high, but the real world stakes for the people who are watching, they realize that they're watching a performance and, and they have sat down and said, okay, I wanna go on an adventure. Take me there and so it's the kind of show that they're gonna be able to just sit back and uh, live out their youth again where they're playing in the backyard with a stick pretending they're Peter Pan or Robin Hood or D'Artagnan and I think that everyone's gonna tap into their inner child their inner adventurer their inner swashbuckler for this show it has to be safe and repeatable eight shows a week night after night after night otherwise it's three musketeers one night only uh, and you don't want that. So you want your actors uh, safe, and you want them feeling uh, confident in what they're doing, and you want it to serve the storyline.